Island businessman is ordered held without bail tonight in connection with the death of his wife, who jumped out of a second story window in the couple's Douglas, Massachusetts home, apparently because she was afraid of him. Hi, Susan Porter, Stephen Schuler is live in the newsroom with the latest details from court today. An autopsy reveals that woman, Lisa Stilke, died from serious rib injuries. Prosecutors are calling this a tragic case of domestic violence. 40-year-old Alan Stilke hangs his head low before a judge. The Rhode Island businessman is charged with the death of his 44-year-old wife, Lisa, at their Douglas home early Friday morning. She was upstairs. A pillow had gone out the window. She went out the window and attempted to land on that pillow. Records from the Rhode Island Secretary of State's office named Stilke as the manager of AMS Electric. No one answered the door or phone at his Pawtucket office. Lisa's family and friends attended this morning's court hearing, listening to the painful details of what happened minutes before her fall. I'm not comfortable saying anything more that there was a struggle, a very big struggle that was going on throughout the house. There was broken furniture, there was broken glass, there was wine on the countertop, there was wine in the kitchen, there was wine on the wall. Stilke, a professional arm wrestler, married his wife a year ago. Prosecutors say he had recently taken out a life insurance policy on Lisa for $250,000. Her son told state police she called him just 15 minutes before jumping. She said that if I'm dead, he did it. Stilke is facing multiple charges, including manslaughter. He's being held without bail and is due back in court next month. Live in the newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.